Hello and all, welcome to the Galaxy Man Show. So for my very first guest of this brand new week is this incredible singer called Matty G Taylor. Uh, so I'm about to add Matty Taylor into the live now and have a chat with Matty about her incredible songs that she's, uh, that she's made. So let's have a chat with Matty. Uh, please make Matty welcomed on the Galaxy Man Show for today's guest. And yeah, here's Matty. Fireworks! That's so cool. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to join my show, Maddie. Uh, it means the incredible world that you, you have joined my show today. Uh, to people that don't know who you are, if you give like a bit of backstory about yourself first, and then we'll dive right into the questions. Okay. I am a country pop singer songwriter from Portland, Tennessee, just like 50 minutes, miles away from Nashville. So kind of close, but not too far. Um, I'm 18 years old. I've just been singing out at places, recording music, all that fun stuff, writing music too. <laughs> so we'll dive right into the questions now, Maddie. So for my very first question, so you have created incredible original songs and for the first original song I'm going to mention is called Deserve Me. What was it like creating this song and what is the meaning behind this song? So my best friend growing up, she got with this guy and he just treated her like, like terrible like it was just an awful relationship very toxic um he was very insecure took it out on her and i feel like i lived through that situation with her so like enough to write about it so i wrote a song about it <laughs> after the fact they finally broke up thank god they needed to and um yeah i just based it off of that and uh I think a lot of people relate to it, so that's very cool. So on to my very next question. So you've also created a song called Stupid Girl, uh, which is a great title, by the way. Uh, what was Thank it like? No, you're very welcome. So what was it like creating this one, and what's the meaning behind Stupid Girl? So it's actually like a personal song. It's mainly just I don't want to grow up and be in a toxic, awful, one-sided relationship there's a lot of women in my life um, examples i guess you could say they are stuck in relationships and that they can't get out of or they're just stuck and they just you know won't get out of so i base it off of that i just don't want to grow up and be in an awful relationship like that so so I'm going to my very next question for you. So, like, you've also created another song called Not Meant To Be, which your titles are so, like, so inspiring and so, like, well done. Like, I love the title names of these songs. Uh, what was it? No, you're very welcome. So what was it like creating Not Meant To Be? And what's the meaning behind this song? I want to say I, I love your accent. Are you Australian? I am Australian. That is so <laughs> cool. Oh, my God. I love hearing accents. Okay, oh well, where, where about are you from, if I may ask? Um, I am from just outside of Nashville, so Tennessee. Cool. People say other I don't really hear it. I don't know. Every like every single like American picks up it like of a, like of Australian accents. It's like so like like I went to Florida a couple of years back, and some Florida um like restaurant lady was like are you australian like, i can tell by your accent i'm like yep i am it's a very like cool sounding i don't know yeah. i always my sister-in-law we always um talk in british in a british accent so okay. it's just very accurate yes. <laughs> so um, onto the song meant to be yeah. yeah uh so what was it like creating this one and yeah what's the meaning behind this song um i was in a relationship and basically one day wasn't feeling it anymore broke up with him didn't want it didn't want to be with him nothing towards him just you know was be and that's that's what i based that off of just not it wasn't him wasn't me just not meant to be sometimes it's like that sometimes that happens so on to my very next question for you. So like, what was it like, what made you decide as a person and especially as an artist to like get into the whole singing process in the first place? Um, so when I was nine, I started with vocal competitions 
and vocal lessons and then I kind of just like fell off of the performing wagon um, and then fast forward a couple years I got into branding as an artist and writing songs and then I was scared to death to get like back into performing I was like so scared but one day I got this call from a friend from like my childhood she was also my cheer coach and her family is very well known in my hometown they're very well known for singing and she called me and she was like I'm sick I need you to perform tomorrow at the fall festival in Portland which is my hometown and I was like oh I can't do that <laughs> I'm too scared <laughs> I, there's no way I've never done a set before I've never you know like perform more than one song so like she wanted me to sing like eight songs um but she said you can do it i believe in you and i did it so, so that's what got me like into it and then after that i was like i want to do this more so i started contacting farmers market managers uh, restaurant man manager music bookers whatever you want to call them and i started getting gigs and performing places and it just happened like that i think without that call i don't know if i'd be performing because I feel like that was my, my end to performing live, mu live music so I think that's really cool things happen for a reason <laughs> yes they do they do so on to yeah. my very next question about performing so like what does performing as an artist mean like means like especially to you like uh, like being an artist can like connecting with the crowd like what does it mean to you like connect con connection wise I think it's really cool because like I feel like when you're performing live you can exactly what you said you can connect with your audience more you can talk to them like you're there in front of each other and you can you can sing your songs differently than how they're recorded and all of that I just think it's really I love performing ever since I got that call <laughs> yeah. yes so on to my very next question for you so like if you could work with any top three music artists in the music industry who would they be and why that is a very good question. I I feel like my music is a lot like Kelsey Ballerini, Carly Pierce, and Casey Musgrave. So I'd love that would be super cool to work with them on something. I could see you working with those three and perfect choices too, by the way. Like I love the the choices, great choices. Love it. Thank you. No, you're very welcome. So on to my very next question. So if you could go anywhere on tour, any dream destination as an artist, like where would your dream destination be and why? Australia. <laughs> yes. Uh, or, or London. Okay. Yeah. Why so, London, if I may ask? Uh, um, I just, from what I've seen, I love the vibe. Okay. Um, something about getting a croissant. Actually, that's Italy, I think. I don't really know. Getting a croissant, reading a book, getting coffee, I don't know. Just the vibes, walking around, seeing the tourists. Coffee spot. all the way. <laughs> right, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, London is my dream destination too. I'm a huge fan of a show called Doctor Who. Um, huge nerd. Uh, but yeah, London, because of Doctor Who wise, and like I want to experience like the Doctor Who tour in London and stuff. So. I totally agree with London. London would be such a viable place to go to, and just like the pommies are amazing. Like the all the like the, all the British people, how they speak is just so beautiful, and just like I, I, I love it. I mean, it's just yeah, such a I vibe think, in London. Yes, I love to hear. But it. on yes, <laughs> so onto my very next question for you. So if you could give your younger self advice, and yeah, what would your younger self advice be to your younger self? Uh, and if you could go to any decade in time or space, like what decade would you want to go to and why? Oh my gosh. Um, okay, first question. I, I would tell her I'm proud of her and not give up. Keep working. That's going to get you there. Um, second question. What was it again? Uh, if you could go to any decade in time, where would it be? I think that. 80s. Okay. I think that'd be. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes. The poodle skirts. I think that, no, that was seventies. I think eighties or seventies. I heard it was really cool from my parents. So. I love it. So on to my very next question. So if you could give upcoming artists advice on wanting to start out in the music industry, what advice would you give to upcoming artists and why? Um, make friends in the industry connections. Don't be afraid to ask questions from people who are better than you, you know? Um, yeah. So I'm just to my very last question for you. So like what's next for you music wise, anything that you would like to announce on the show? I can't announce anything cause that's further down the line, but I will say I do have a song that I plan on releasing this year. So stay tuned. <laughs> I would love to ask, by the way, I don't know if you have time or anything, but would you like to actually give a performance of one of your original songs only if you have time? Yes. Let me, I don't know if I might keep it with me. Let me, I'll be right back. Okay. We're gonna see if I can fit. Oh, I'm loaded. when you when you perform, I'm gonna go on mute. By the way, so just like let me know when you're ready to perform, and I'll go on mute. Okay. okay. Let's see. Do you want to release or unrelease? Up to you. It's your decision. Should we do? Okay. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Stupid girl. Yeah. If I can remember the lyrics. I think I forgot my chords. There we go. <laughs> the girl who likes him a lot already on the first date. She looks over his flaws all the time because she sees the good in everything. She never really knew how she was supposed to be treated You would think that one time I heard would be all she needed To go in out of my way and stay in the blade Talking to a guy that don't even care about me Then nothing changes when you keep getting played But it was only nothing you thought was something Don't want to be that stupid girl who gives her heart to a guy only for him to break it and change it and shape it till it don't love the same anymore does it make him feel good to drag a girl down so much hurt her Sore, but I blame her for staying around She could have left, but she stayed So now she's in this place You would think that one time of her Would be enough to go away To going out of my way And staying a blade Talking to a guy that don't even care about me Then nothing changes when you keep getting played But it was only nothing You thought was something Don't want to be that stupid Big girl who gives her heart to a guy Only for him to break it and change it and shape it Till it don't love the same anymore Blame her for staying around She never left, never stands her ground and I don't want to be known for a girl who doesn't have a backbone. So 
to her, she's never had a shown A real man treats her right and acts wrong So that's just how it keeps going on and recycles No, I don't want to be that girl Too big girl who gives her heart to a guy Only for him to break it and change it and shape it Till it don't look the same anymore Someone is like fine and gold and wants to prove it's hard to fix it. Don't let me, Lord, don't let me be that stupid girl. Wow. Very prompt. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh. That was no that was i can't even say the word like that was so, that was so beautifully magical like oh. the way you performed that and i had so Thank much feel like, like i had so much feeling in that like song like i was like so almost emotional like with that when you performed I, it and it was just beautiful so i just wanted to say thank you so much for, for performing that thank you for having me i've enjoyed this no, you're very I've been very welcome and it has been such a pleasure having you on um the show for today maddie uh everyone if you don't follow maddie definitely go give her one massive love and support uh get behind more artists like maddie uh and yeah get behind more artists uh and i just would like to ask would you like to give any last final thoughts to any of your followers by the way um i don't know Stay cool, I guess. <laughs>